Ah, black box games. The early days of the NES. And I will admit that even the bad black box games, say that three times in a row, do have a certain amount of charm to them. It's the early days of the NES where it was new and any game that you got seemed to be just the coolest thing in the world. Well, looking back on them, a lot of them have aged poorly. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top five black box games and the bottom five black box games. This is my opinion, of course, but I do think that it's also correct. Oh, it's Friday night. Don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. I could sit here and pick my nose while I watch a brand new video. Oh, oh. Top by Friday. Top by Friday tonight. Now, number five, top game, we have golf. I think this game is fun because it's simple. Uh, I never really got too much into golf games. A lot of them get overcomplicated. This one's just simple. You pick a club, see which direction the wind's going, and then you swing with the correct power, and then you're all set. It's a fun game, simple game, but that's why I like it. Now, number five on the bottom list, we have Mock Rider. I've never really heard anybody say that they like this game, but it would not surprise me if there are some of those out there. Now, granted, I'm not the biggest racing fan in the world, but I don't think that that matters because this game transcends the badness of any sort of just hating on a genre. It's just a mess. That's the best way I can describe it. It's just a big, giant cluster mess. Now, look, it's some of these games you gotta have a little bit of leeway with them. You got to give them a little bit of credit because it was early on in the NES. You know, it was before programmers really started to learn how to program and, and get good at programming for the NES. So you can forgive a lot of these games. And like I said, they do have a certain amount of charm. But in terms of, just, of this game being a playable game in this day and age, I say absolutely not. Now for the fourth best black box game we have Balloon Fight. Obviously inspired by the classic arcade game Joust, Balloon Fight is another simple arcade style game. You go and pop your enemy's balloons and you kill them dead. Now you can do it to the computer or you can do two players, which is really cool as well. Now I don't have any nostalgia for this game. Uh, I didn't really play a whole lot of black box games back in the day uh, because we didn't get our NES until it had been out a couple of years. And by that time, there were much better games that were out already. The few black box games I did play were at a friend's house whenever they originally got their NES. But this one, I found out later, hey, this is a really good game and it remains well, high up on my list of really good black box games for that reason. Now, number four on the bottom is an absolute mess, another mess. I'm gonna be using that word a lot on the bottom list, I think. It's clunky, it's boring, and that's Urban Champion. I don't know if you would classify this game as a beat-em-up or a, a fighting game, but they're all one-on-one -on -one fights. You go from one area to the next, and you take on one particular opponent, and it's not good. The, the, the controls are awful. Half the time I'm just button mashing. I don't know what I'm doing. And sometimes that'll work out, sometimes it won't. Uh, it really seems like kind of like Karate Champ on the NES, but, but not as bad as that. It kind of just seems like you just push buttons and hope for the best. And, and, and that's not a recipe for a good game. And just the, the graphics are bland. Again, you can't really blame it. It's early on in the NES, but still, they suck. And it's just very repetitive and boring. Boring is the best way to describe this game. Boring. Urban Champion is boring. Now number three on the top list is the classic Donkey Kong. There's a helicopter outside ruining my audio. Everybody knows what Donkey Kong is. And whenever they ported it to the NES, they had to take certain liberties. They had to take the Pie Factory stage out and make some changes to have it fit on, I assume, because it had to fit on the NES cart. But still, when you're talking about with the scope of black box NES games, it is one of the better ones. And maybe that's cheating for putting it on this list. Maybe because it really is an arcade port, it should count. 
I don't think that I agree with that strategy, but regardless, it's going to be on my top five because of all the black box games I play, this one's probably going to be the one that I go to more than a ton of other ones that are sit on my game shelf right now. All right, number three on the bottom list, 10 yard fight. Look, I'm not gonna sit here and bash football games. I like football. I grew up watching football. I grew up playing football. I love football. All right, so I'm not saying that this game is bad because it's a football game. I'm saying it's bad because it's a bad game. It's bad. As far as football games go, this is at the bottom of the rung. It slightly, slightly has a resemblance to actual football. But that's a stretch. It's like an alien interpretation of what they think football is. Everything from the controls to the graphics to everything about it is an atrocious abomination. It is a mess. Steer clear from it. It is not even worth a penny of your hard-earned money if you see it at the flea market. Unless you want to just take it home and torture yourself or just kind of make you appreciate things like Tecmo Bowl and take Tecmo Super Bowl a little bit better. All right, now number two on the top list goes to a game that I actually do have fond memories of. It was one of the games that my friends across the street played uh, a few nights. I think they rented it or maybe they bought it. I'm not sure. But whenever I went over there and played it, it was really fun. And that's Kung Fu. Kung Fu is simple. You just karate chop and punch all the people in front of you on one level of this building you go up to the second story you do it again you do it again you repeat and rinse and repeat five times and you're done and you can you can do it again it's a simple fun game literally all you have to do is just figure out the patterns for everything when i played this as a kid i really i wasn't blown away by it i didn't think it was the best game ever but i thought it was fun uh, from the sound effects, I really like the sound effects in this game. That's, a, that's something I need to really mention. The sound effects. I don't know what it is about the sound effects in this game, but they stand out. The huh, 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 I, I, I like those sound effects for some reason. They've always stuck with me. So now we're getting to the cream of the crop. The, well, this is the bad part of the list, so maybe I should say the, the sewage at the bottom. This is the really bad. We're getting to the worst of the worst here on the black box side of things here. Uh, number two on the bottom, I'm gonna have to give it to good old Donkey Kong. I was just giving Donkey Kong praise in the last little segment there, but no, not this game. This game, you have to actually use math. That's Donkey Kong Jr. math. Now, funny thing is, I've always enjoyed math. I don't know what it is about math. Even after school, I went and, and, and purchased on my own textbooks for advanced math because I always found math problems interesting. With that said, why on earth would I want to incorporate that into a video game? Look, if I want to play Donkey Kong, I want an action platforming game. I want a, an arcade game. I don't want to solve math. I don't want to do math problems. Now, yeah, it's simple math, but to the fact that you actually have to do that to progress through the game doesn't make it fun. It makes it boring, it makes it a chore, and it makes me want to play something else. So Donkey Kong Jr. Math, why do you exist? I know why you exist, because Nintendo was like, we need something educational so the mothers who really don't want to buy their kids video games will look at this and go, well, little junior son of a bitch, really needs to do better at math. Maybe we should get him a Nintendo. That's why they did it. Whether it worked or not, who knows. All right, we got number one. Number one on the top black box game list. Obviously, I mean, is it really any surprise? It's gonna be Super Mario Brothers. That's a given. It's the best black box game there is. If you say that it's not, you're unfortunately wrong. It's a classic. It's the game that most people, whenever they were kids, saw that. It introduced them to the NES and it introduced them into gaming in general. Now, I'm not gonna sit here, obviously, and tell you about Super Mario Brothers. You know the game. It's a given that it's gonna be number one on this list. So now I'm just gonna move on to the number one worst game on the NES. And that is <laughs> Stack Up. Yes, good old Stack Up. One of two games with Gyromite that you needed Rob, your Rob buddy, your robot buddy to help you play. This literally is the most boring game in the history of, of 
actual games that were released. Now, I'm sure there's some games like on the PC and stuff people made as a joke. It's that bus game or whatever. This game, for a legitimate released game by a major company, is the most boring game ever created. End of story. You don't even need the game. The game is simply an accessory to the main game, which is Rob rearranging these blocks. Oh, it's like, it's like the, it's seriously, I can't sit here and I cannot, I can't put into words how, how boring this game is. It's not even a game. It's not. It's not a game. It's, it's, I don't know what it is. It's not a game though. I should even have it on this list because this list is about games. It doesn't even deserve to be on this list as a worst game because it's not a game. <laughs> It's not. I, I, if you don't, if you know what Stack Up is, you do tell me in the bottom. Tell me in the comment section. Let me know. Because I, I don't. I've been sitting here racking my brain. Today, weeks, months, years. When I first got that game as a collector and I put it in and I was like, what is this? Just help me. I, that's all I want. I need I just need to know what is stack up